Francis Scott Key faced Wacomico from the Eastern Shore on Wednesday, March 13th at Montgomery Blair High School in a Class 2A girls basketball state semifinal. The Indians came in with a 25-1 record, while the Eagles were 18-7 looking for their first state title game appearance since they won it all in 1997. Caroline Kaur makes her way through Y High's defense with a nice spin in the lane and sets an early tone. FSK is off to a hot start, but the Indians try to stay close, thanks in part to this floater from Gabrielle Corbin late in the first quarter. Summer Brooks drains a three-pointer in the final minute, and after one quarter, it's a 10-point lead for Key at 20-10. Check out this battle from Kaur, who muscles up and scores off the glass. Eagles in front, 24-11. Corbin dribbles up and banks in this long jump shot, and the Indians are down 26-17. Rooks uses some keen court vision and delivers an assist to Kenzie Bancroft that gives the Eagles a 30-17 lead. The bank is open for Eagles guard Abby Rieger on this three-pointer, and it's all FSK at the half. Eagles 37, Y high 25. Rieger finds Brooks on this outlet pass, and the junior lays it in. A 6-0 run to open the third quarter gives FSK a 43-25 lead. Selah Foreman stays with the ball despite pressure from Rieger and scores in the paint for the Indians. Foreman comes up with a steal and gets the ball to Carlissa Johnson for a layup, and Waihai makes it 46-35. Soraya Sanin scores on this putback, and the Indians are right back in it. After three quarters, FSK leads 48-41. The Eagles have an answer, and it's Brooks from behind the arc. Francis Scott Key back in front by 10 at 51-41. Bancroft nets another layup midway through the fourth, and Francis Scott Key is set to celebrate a long-awaited state championship berth. Final score is FSK 69, Y High 49. The Eagles hold the Indians their second lowest output of the season and snap their 19-game winning streak behind 25 points from Summer Brooks and 18 from Caroline Kaur. Francis Scott Key takes on Hammond in the 2A final on March 15th at 5 p.m. at University of Maryland's Xfinity Center. Want more local sports coverage? Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.